but then you get thirteen fifty in rent. Okay. Now people bag on Section Eight tenants a lot and say Section Eight tenants are bad. Section Eight tenants are horrible. Section Eight tenants do crappy stuff. And when I say people, I mean like people like me, right? I say that stuff all the time because they do. Okay. Uh, if you're going to invest in Section Eight properties, you need to understand what you're getting. You got to understand the game you're playing. Thirteen fifty. Market rent, okay, thirteen fifty. Now you don't get to just slap somebody in there for thirteen fifty, though, y'all. You gotta, you gotta spruce it up. You gotta fix it up. <laughs> Welcome to the Investment Properties for Sale Show, folks. Thing is selling at or above list. We are gonna provide you guys with complete transparency and education. We take you to the video tour. Won't watch TV, giving it to you straight. Section 8 is the name of the game in Cleveland, y'all. And this is a prime example of why. 3255 West 56, okay? Price 59.9, okay? But check this out. 1350 market rent, okay? 1350. Now, you don't get to just slap somebody in there for 1350 though, y'all. You got to you got to spruce it up. You got to fix it up, okay? Here's the deal. Section 8 It's like a double-edged sword, okay? On one hand, you get huge amounts of rent, right? 1350 in rent. Uh, for a house like this, it's only fifty nine nine, okay? And you get so much rent because it's a 4-2, right? Uh, when you're with Section 8 and you're doing Section 8 investing, right? And it's not just here in the Cleveland market. It's everywhere, really. Uh, the more bedrooms your house has, uh, you get the tenants with the bigger vouchers, right? They get issued vouchers based upon the amount of bedrooms the Section 8 is going to give them, usually based upon family size, okay? And the bigger the bedrooms, uh, the higher the rents go, okay? So uh, if you're going to do Section 8 investing, you want to go with big old bedrooms, right? Big old houses is you get more rent, right? So you get huge amounts of rent, right? But it's, again, it's a double-edged sword, right? With the massive amounts of rent for fairly low-cost properties, uh, you do get people that are going to live in your house pretty rough, right? As you see, uh, you know, the house is a little... Uh, worse for wear, so to speak, right? You're going to have to go back in, patch it up, repaint it, do things like that, right? You know, you're doing it yourself. I'm sure you can get this thing totally turned around for like, you know, 5, 10K. You got to hire a contract or something like that. You're probably in like the 20K range. And then you tack on uh, getting it lead certified, you know, by yourself. You're probably like 10, 15 uh, contractor, probably in the 25K range. But then you get 1350 in rent, okay? Now, people bag on Section 8 tenants a lot and say Section 8 tenants are bad. Section 8 tenants are horrible. Section 8 tenants do crappy stuff. And when I say people, I mean like people like me, right? I say that stuff all the time because they do, okay? Uh, if you're going to invest in Section 8 properties, you need to understand what you're getting. You got to understand the game you're playing, right? If you're playing baseball, uh, you might get hit in the face with a fucking fastball, okay? That's just part of the game, all right? If you're playing football... You're going to get tackled. You might hit your noggin, okay? If you're invested in Section 8 properties, you're going to deal with tenants uh, that are going to beat the hell out of your house, okay? That's, that's part of the game. It's a double-edged sword, man. Uh, in exchange for being able to buy really cheap houses, right? Houses for 59000 and get a boatload of government-guaranteed rent. You or your property manager have to deal with tenants that are going to leave your houses looking like this. Them just the breaks, yo. That's that's what you're signing up for. If that's what you want to do, if you run the numbers, you can make a ton of money. I myself have made like a freaking like wheelbarrow of money doing this stuff. But that doesn't mean that they don't do this stuff to my houses and I don't have to rehab my houses every time they move in and out. But the cool thing is when you go Section 8 tenants, y'all, they typically stay for quite a while, especially when there's large bedrooms like this, right? So if you get somebody in there for several years, collect that rent all the time, just make sure you're saving up some money for capital expenditures and turnover expenses, and then you can afford these types of turnovers. Now, if you don't know how to run numbers to calculate for that type of stuff when you're dealing with Section 8 rentals, uh, I would suggest you take a look at my other show here on Holton Wise TV. It's called the MLS Search and Analysis Show. Uh, we've produced, I don't know, like I think we're on like episode like 2,650 or 2,700, something like that, okay? Uh, and we don't publish them all live right away. I believe we've probably published live on Holton Wise TV maybe like 1,000 or 1,500 episodes, right? Uh, so I tell that to you to let you know that, dude, if you want the information, it's out there. We got at least 1,500 episodes, and in every single episode, I show you guys how to break down 
a budget, how to break down the numbers, how to calculate for what you see in this video right now, right? So if you don't know how to run your numbers, watch several of those shows, dude. There's over 1,500 episodes free on Holton Wise TV for you to watch where I teach you how to calculate for repairs, right? Uh, after that, if you think you want to make an offer on this property, send it to my team, sales at HoltonWise.com. If you're paying cash, Great. We love cash. If you don't have cash, if you want to finance it, you got your own uh, financing. Cool. Include your pre-approval letter with your offer. If you are paying cash, include your proof of funds with your offer. If you want to finance it, but you don't yet have financing, don't you worry. I'll hook you up with that too. I'm not just here giving you all information. I got the financing for you, man. You guys want to talk to my lenders? I've done over $200 million worth of deals just like this one here in Cleveland and elsewhere in Ohio uh, and in a few other states as well. So I have a Rolodex of investors, uh, investor lenders rather, investor lenders uh, who work with investors just like you. Doesn't even matter where you live. You don't have to be in Ohio. You can be in California. You can be in New York. You can be in Texas. We have foreign nationals uh, that invested with our company and invest in properties here. And we uh, have lenders that can give them financing too, right? So Canadian citizens. We got a client in the UK. We got some in Singapore. Uh, we got one dude in Russia. We don't have any in Ukraine yet. Uh, I'm not sure what side of the aisle I'm supposed to be on to be politically correct on that war. I don't know what's going down. But hey, man, if you're in Ukraine, We'd hook you up, too. We'd sell you some real estate, too. Hook you up with some lenders, man. Ukraine, Russia, we'll bring y'all motherfuckers together in, in, in the spirit of making some motherfucking money. We got the Israelis. We got the dudes in Palestine. We'll hook both of you guys up with some financing, too, man. We're all just like a, a pot here, man. I will sell real estate to North and South Korea. I don't even care because it's all about them Benjamins, folks. Make love, not war. Earn cash flow. Don't fight motherfuckers, right? So anyway, if you need financing, the moral of the story is pretty much whoever the fuck you are, if uh, the lenders, you know, if they think you have a reasonable shot at uh, paying them back, they're probably going to loan you some money, right? So just send us an email, sales at holtonwise.com. I'll get you my list of lenders. And then again, once you're all squared up with your financing, whether it's from my list of lenders, your own lenders, or your own cash, send your offers to my team, sales at holtonwise.com. If this is going too fast for you, you think we're moving too quick, you're not ready to make an offer, you want to physically come to Ohio, come to Cleveland, tour the property, or maybe you're local to Cleveland, you want to tour the property, that's cool too, man. Just send an email, sales at holdenweiss.com. You hit us up before 5 o'clock, we'll get you in there same day. If it's after 5 o'clock, it'll probably be next business day. Let's go! See, maybe we swap the SD card. Yeah, that's the only thing I can think of. Is maybe it's not, like, the right one. Yeah, that's kind of right. But if that was the case, I don't know why it would even let me start recording. Right. Then like weird. get as far as I did. Right, that's fucking weird. Well, like you said, those ones it all saves. Yeah. Watch where you're stopping to this dog shit. Yeah. Yeah, that would have sucked. Uh, who the fuck chewed the goddamn pressure release button? The dog? It's gotta be the dog. Well, I had like a dog down here, dude. Yep. I hate when people do that shit. Don't forget to get the front of this furnace, but also like this back corner. Pretty fun. That whole wall is going to have to be done for that. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.